This week on Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to label both ends of your percent of total bars. So for example, you can see here we've got 79.7% and then 20.3% on the other side. And this is doing looking at the central region compared to all other regions. And we can change the region that we're looking at to look at east or south. So how do we do this? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our chart. So we're going to have subcategory on here and I'm just going to change this to entire view. And then we're going to look at sales. So the first thing I'm going to create a parameter for region. I'm just going to leave it as the region parameter. And then I'm going to isolate my region sales. So so it will be if the region parameter equals region then give me the sales end okay and then I'm just going to duplicate this and we're going to edit this and say do not equal and then that's the other region sales and hit OK. And now I'm just going to add both of these in so you can see what we're doing with our calculations. So here you can see that the region that we have selected, which is central, has um, 33,000 sales and other region has 133,000 sales. So now we need a percent of total of this for the sum of sales. So I'm going to create a new calculated field and call this percent of region sales. So what we want to do is we want the sum of region sales divided by and we're going to use an LOD just to make sure that we get back the right number of sum of sales. So we want it fixed at subcategory for the sum of sales. We want to wrap that in a sum. Uh, let's delete that one and put a bracket at the end. And then we're going to do the same again, duplicate this, and that's of the other region. Change that and change this here to be the other region sales and hit OK. And we're just going to format both of those to be a percentage. So number format percentage to one decimal place. And then we're going to drag both of those in so you can see what they're doing. So we've got the other region sales, which is 79.9, and then the region sales, which is 20.3. Now, I don't need any of these other ones, and I'm just going to remove them. I'm going to swap these around so my region sales are first. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix both of these axes. So we're going to fix this. We need to just slightly offset it just a little bit. So we're going to do 0 0.01 to 1 and then the same on this one. I'm just going to fix this at minus 0 0.01 and then fix to 1. But we're going to reverse this one um, and you'll see why in a minute. So now when we dual axis these and change them back to bars, you can see that they are slightly off in terms of um, their positioning and that is because um, one of the axes is incorrect. We don't want to synchronize them because they'll just stack on top of each other. But what we want to do is we want to add a 0 0.01 to the end of that one and also a 0 0.01 to the end of that one. So this should allow them to, to align correctly now. And then now when we're doing it, we want to just take measure names off there because we don't want that color. We want it just, uh, we want it as, um, let me just undo that one. Um, so the first thing, we're going to change the color of this one. So I want these to be a nice purple. And then we're going to actually just change this to white. 
you can't see it at the minute but then if we go to all color change the border to this purple you can now see that the percent of total and you can be able to see how much of the central region takes up of the other regions so we're going to add labels but if I add labels in here it's going to add them to both of those to the ends of each line and it's a bit confusing as to which one it is so if I go into label and we're going to both align them both to be on the left hand side so now we have our labels at either end of our um, bars so you can see that this one's 20.3 and this one's 79.9 and then finally I'm just going to do some formatting of my tooltips so just add all of these on so now when I come into my tooltip I can get it nicely formatted so that we have the sum of region sales and then we can put that in purple so it matches with our others and then we can put the other region sales at the bottom and I'm also going to untick both of those and here we have our dashboard our sheets with our region sales and our other regions so if I change the parameter to east it will change it again 